Black Metal Lesson number 29. So I normally get a few comments asking me about rhythm playing and practicing and oh I can't tremolo pick or I can't go over this and I can't do this. Here is the guide on how to improve your rhythm playing. So I've got five exercises, here's the first one. So this one is to help loosen your right hand. So we're playing in 3-4 and we're playing two chords, an E minor, where we fret the second fret of A with our index finger and the second fret of D with our middle finger. Then we have a C major 7 where we fret the third fret of A with our middle finger and the second fret of D with our index finger. Now I've kept this really simple here, you strum all the strings and you follow the same picking pattern. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And we play this in 3-4 so you get used to this kind of swaying feeling. Slowly it's played like this. Now I'm sure most of you can play this, but for the odd beginner or the person who's just found the channel, this is designed to loosen your right hand up before you get to the hyper speeds. This is a type of technical death metal style of playing. So you pick the A string and you perform an upstroke with a palm mute on the open E. So that's the picking motion, just a normal pick then an upstroke with a palm mute. And then the notes, seven on A, four times, eight on A twice, 11 on A, then eight on A. Now this is designed to improve your upstrokes because if you're going to be tremolo picking, you also need good upstrokes. They need to be just as good as your downstrokes. So that's something to work on. Also, the palm muting technique forces your hand to use the wrist, which is exactly what we need for tremolo picking and playing fast. This is a more Watain influence riff. They do this kind of <laughs> style of riffing. So it's taking that idea, but turning it into an exercise. So this one forces you to come on and off the palm mutes more quickly than the previous exercises and get you used to playing bar chords as well. So the first part, four picks on the low E with a palm mute, then an E minor bar chord, strum twice, down then up. And the E minor bar chord from the A string down, seven, nine, nine, eight, and seven. Then we take the same rhythm, but play a chord one fret down, which is the E flat. Moving on. Four picks on the low E with the palm mute, but this time it's just one strum on that C minor. Same chord shape, except your first finger should be on the third fret. And then you go back up to the E flat, following the same rhythm as before. The thing to remember is, when you go back to the palm mutes, you're muting the rest of the strings with your left hand. You don't want the chord to ring out. You don't want this sound. Too messy. And the way to stop the ringing is to still keep your hand in the same shape, but release the pressure on the fretboard. That way you get your playing tighter. Exercise four works on tremolo picking and string skipping. So when you're tremolo picking, you need to make sure that you're able to identify and count 
when you're playing 16th notes, which is four picks every beat. And that's what this is designed to do. So we have the 7th fret of A, then the low E. Next part, 10th fret of A, 9th fret of D. Then two beats worth of the 8th fret of E. And then two beats on the 9th fret of A. We have some jumping around across the strings. And the only way to improve it is just to be as precise as possible. And to make sure that your picking is accurate as well. Bar three is the same as bar one. Then we have the big string skip here. Eighth fret of low E. Ninth fret of D. Ninth fret of D. Ninth fret of A. So again, this exercise is to work on your tremolo picking at a moderate tempo and get used to jumping across the strings. Exercise number five is all about that gorgor rhythm. So the gorgor rhythm. Take some time to get used to it, but it's easier to practice with the palm mute because with the open E, you'll find that the string kind of fights against the pick too much. With the palm mute, you're able to keep the string more controlled. Go over the picking. Down, down, up, down. So we take this rhythm, down, down, up, down, and we just change the notes. It's just an open E. First fret on E. The fourth fret. Then back to the first fret. And that's it. Slowly. So again, that gorgor through them. Down, down, up, down, 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 down. It's almost like a faster version of the original rhythm played in number one. If you're a beginner, you can't just rush from strumming normally to trying these gorgor rhythms. You're just going to have a really hard time, and it's just going to put you off. But as always, I'm here to help you guys with your playing, your creativity, and to help you become much better musicians. Thank you for watching. Do check the link for my Black Metal Mastery course down in the description. The tabs for these exercises are available to download. The link is in the description. If you'd like to listen to my music or buy a t-shirt or a hoodie to help support the channel and myself, all the links are below. Thanks for watching.